Hi guys, Mr. Hollow Point coming at you. Today we're going to be talking about 9mm. Uh, a lot of 9mm action out there. New guns are being designed, things are in the works, behind the scene, in front of the scene. So we're working with 9mm. Today, the gun that we're shooting uh, is the Career Ultra. Uh, it is a five shot repeater. Okay. Has a uh, pull out what I call a stick magazine, holds five shots. Um, very powerful gun. Uh, lever action. It's got the power adjuster here, and it's got a little, uh, it's called manometer. Little, tells you how much air is in it. Uh, beautiful gun uh, with an 80 grain pellet, what we're shooting today, the 80 grain hollow point. Uh, we're getting 900 feet a second on maximum setting with a 3000 psi fill. It's got the standard 22 base up here, so I've got a little adapter uh, and a nice big Simmons scope on there. Uh, a little more than is actually needed, but it does look cool, and I'm all about looking cool. Are there functions? Different story. No, it does. It functions very well. Um, it's got a threaded barrel on the end, so you can put a little end piece or you know lead dust collector, whatever you like. Uh, this is the double barrel tube, the older model. I think they have a single barrel tube now for holding your air. Um, beautiful gun to hunt almost anything with. Uh, it's great for small game, uh, coyotes, things of that, pigs, a lot of pigs taken with these. The only drawback that I find is because you are shooting a stick mag, you're limited on the length of the pellet. If your pellet's a little bit too long, it won't fit in there. Even with the little single shot, pour it on the side, you still can't get anything you know, more than that to fit in there. So I've come up with uh, two different hollow points to fit this, uh, 75 grain and an 80 grain hollow point. Uh, both fit, function, feed very nice, don't hang up on the little shuttle. Uh, very nice, very powerful gun. Uh, I'm really happy with it. This is, a, this is a beater that I picked up on the yellow years and years and years ago. Actually, I think it's one of my first air rifles. Um, and it just it functions great. Uh, I've shot in all sorts of small game with it. Uh, very pleased with it. I think you'll see when we do some testing later on that you'll be pleased seeing the results with it also. I think the 9mm is around. It's been kind of forgot or left to the side. Uh, and the actual bore diameter is 0.356. I know most of the molds drop at 358, but it's, uh, I size all my stuff down to 356 and it fits perfectly and flawlessly. As the 9mm grows, uh, the single shots out there, we've got hollow points now going from 75 grain all the way up to almost 250, 260 grain hollow point. But those, the bigger ones will have to fit in the single shot. Uh, very powerful, very, you know, very good gun to have, and uh, I think it's a, a sleeper that people have forgotten about. That's all for now. We'll get back to you later. camera's not broke. Put dead center there, blew out here, blew out there, blew out there, blew out there. Wow. Hey guys, we're back after that test. Oh, did you see that water jug action? Phenomenal, phenomenal. I cannot believe this. 900 feet a second. I just, just blew this thing to pieces. Uh, and it's not tumbling, it's not rolling. That bullet is dead on. That is a perfectly round hole right there. That's the entrance. It exited on this side. 
and it just uh, it just shredded this. I mean, it's just everywhere you look on this water jug, uh, it is ex it just blown. You see fractures. It's just blown to pieces. That's uh, hopefully the picture comes out. You can see it, uh, but it buried itself. That's all for now, Mr. Howell Point. Hi there. Today on the Ask the Expert portion of the show, uh, we've got another write-in letter here. Uh, Miss Reba H. asks, Dear Mr. Hollow Point, with all your extensive knowledge and experience in casting Hollow Point pellets, how do you keep yourself so fit and so trim? Well, that's an easy one. I live most of my life off bear meat. It keeps me trim and healthy and well, and it does wonders for my complexion. Thank you, Miss Reba.